every evening gown tells a story. In the world of pageants, the Miss Universe is a pinnacle of achievement, and the evening gown competition is an essential anticipated part of the event. From the nearly see-through metallic chain dress to mesmerizing red gown with volcanic vibes, pageant hopefuls have paraded their most show-stopping routines across the Miss Universe stage since 1952. Hello everyone and welcome to Crown Sisters. In today's episode, I give you our Miss Universe Top 10 Most Memorable and Most Iconic Green Evening Gowns in Recent History. But before we begin, please make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't done it yet. Go on, I know you want to. Without further ado, here's the color of innocence and growth in the coolest color of green. Jazz is squeezing into my top 10, Malta in 2018. In 2018, Malta's Francesca Mifsud walked on the Miss Universe stage with a seductive gown designed by Moda Ivanka Philippines. The design featured a sequined strapless-like dress with a super high side front slit opening and a full satin overskirt that added drama to the entire look. This emerald green gown was a stunner on the stage, really making Miss Universe Mata look like a diva. I also loved her styling, but would have preferred matching color strappy heels instead of those platform nude ones. Up next, we have Puerto Rico in 2020. Estefania Soto is a perfect sample of its The Girl Net Gown analogy. The emerald gown of Estefania is a breath of fresh air from what seems like the normalization of bright glitters and gleaming accessories. I saw the aura of a romanticized Cleopatra in her. She's like classic Hollywood with an air of royalty. I also love the flowy nature of her dress and how she played it on stage. This lime green pleated number would have eaten any letter girl, but Estefania carried it marvelously. The fabric or the color didn't overpower her. Instead, she wore it to her advantage. The gown is a creation of eccentric sister duo, Noreen and Michelle Otero. The silhouette consists of plunging necklines and detailed pieces with much fluidity, giving a statuesque goddess appeal. Joining our leaderboard is Indonesia in 2020. During the 69th edition Miss Universe Preliminary, Indonesia's Ayum Olida wore a meaningful emerald green evening gown. Ayuma's gown was called the Divine Lungs of Indonesia and was created by Indonesian couture designer Diana Putri. The rich emerald green splendor was chosen to represent Indonesia's rich natural resources and rainforest, while gold symbolizes power, power in knowledge to preserve our future. Ayuma wanted to raise awareness about massive deforestation throughout Indonesia. This classic low plunge neckline and high slit dress was adorned with green Sarovsky crystals and handmade embroidery inspired by trees in the forest. Ayuma looked like a rainforest goddess. I met the 24-year-old beauty in Poland last year. She was regal, elegant, and effortlessly beautiful. Ayuma made the top 21 out of 74 candidates at Miss Universe 2020. At number 7 spot, South Africa in 2017. Anel Botha Couture designed this famous green velvet floor-length evening gown worn by Demi Lee during the preliminaries. She managed to stand out amongst other contestants who were wearing similar colors. According to Botha, he placed a sizable structured bow on the back to create some drama. It certainly worked for me. Next up, we have Costa Rica in 2018. 
Miss Universe Costa Rica Natalia Carvajal looks a hundred times better in this queen number than the royal blue evening gown she wore during the final round. Whilst the blue dress was to 1998 pageant Betty for my liking, this queen is full of class and sophistication. During a backstage interview, she explained that her green dress got tangled in her heels and thus she didn't want to take the risk in the finals as contestants had been asked to walk faster. Hence, she ended up wearing the much-criticized blue gown. Ironically, blue was her favorite color. I love her insane shady moment. She is just so natural and charming. It's a shame that there's only one winner that year, as everyone deserved a crown that evening. And into my top 5, the Philippines in 2016. On January 26, 2017, Maxine picked an emerald green fringe gown created by the Filipino designer Red Ayala during the preliminaries. The Filipino designer created around 10 gowns for the competition and he called it the Queen Collection. It was evident that the emerald green fringe gown was his favorite as there were five designs that featured fringe details. The emerald green gown that Medina wore was the most stage effective. The gown featured a sequin top section and a fringe bottom half. Red's aesthetic and choices then were less pageant and more red carpet. He drew flag from some netizens at the time. But Oscars and Golden Globes came along and it was a fringe frenzy. As a result, Ayala was praised for being a fashion trendsetter. At number 4, Poland in 2021. The Miss Universe Evening Gown competition has always been a buffet of glamorous looks and the 70th edition of the pageant did not disappoint. Miss Polsky Agata Dolbiak wore a sparkly green dress designed by Viola Piakut for the 2021 Miss Universe pageant. This green dress is a red carpet fab. It stunned everyone with its tie-high slit, its sparkly embellishments, and an asymmetrical neckline that went across her torso. While speaking to Agatha earlier, I asked her why she chose this gown. Her answer was short and sweet. She simply said, the color was rare. In August last year, I was in Poland to witness Agata win Miss Polska. She looked like a winner the moment she walked on stage. This year, she will represent Poland again, but at Miss Supranational 2022 in July. Next up, we have Ecuador in 2013. Costanza wore a mint green evening gown by Venezuelan designer Franco Montoro. The dress features vertical sequins and feathers, a fitted bodice, and a side front slit. Some fashion experts think it was a little too predictable. Plus, the big hair and those silver sequin platform heels look like a little Vegas showgirl. I'm glad I have my own channel because I totally disagree. I like the color and its design, and Baez carried the gown really well. In fact, this gown helped her to become the first Miss Ecuador to get into the top 5 in the Miss Universe pageant. A number 2 spot goes to Albania in 2019. Cindy Marina, Miss Albania 2019, undoubtedly had one of the most unique and memorable looks during the Miss Universe 2019 Evening Gowns competition. She glowed on the runway in this super sexy lime green number. While we saw lime green on this list, Miss Albania's dress was very 2004 in the best way possible. Satin, one-shouldered, drop-waisted, and with a vest cut out over her abs. Plus, that thigh-high slit, she looked amazing. And finally, a number one spot goes to Cambodia. In 2019, Cambodia Somnangalina also rocked lime green in the 2019 Miss Universe Evening Gown Preliminary Competition. 
But this magnificent gown couldn't have been more different. Hers was utterly see-through, revealing a pair of high-waisted lime green underwear that matched the beading on her dress. The beauty queen looked stunning and stood out among the evening gowns that flowed on the floor. She walked very confidently and radiated confidence. The Cambodian received a lot of support from the Philippines that year, especially as she was wearing a gown that was designed by multi-awarded and well-decorated Filipino fashion designer Rian Fernandez. She was also trained under the Philippines KF camp. But sadly, the universe had other plans for her. It's only a matter of time before our Southeast Asian sister will take home their very first Miss Universe crown. Which amongst these green gowns is your favorite? Let us know what you think in the comments below. If you made it this far, thank you for watching. And always remember, don't let the clothes or anyone define you. Just be yourself, whether in a pair of jeans or an evening gown.